the vast majority of golfers who have directional difficulties where their shots slice the ball. So what I'm going to do is show you like a little process, a drill that you can do that's going to really help eliminate that slice motion. First of all, let's have a look and see what generally happens that causes that. Because the ball's on the ground and the club's swinging to the ball with the descending blow, it's really easy for the upper body to start doing a little bit too much work to swing the club to the ground. So from here, if I begin my downswing using my hands, my arms, or my upper body, or, or all of them, as the club starts down, my hands are moving out this way. A good swing, my lower body leads, and my hands move on an angled path down to the ball rather than out this way. The more, the harder I try and hit it, the longer the club, the more that's likely to be exaggerated. So if I've got a driver, I've got the length of the shaft, which is adding club head speed. I've got the fact that there's not much loft on the club, which is going to accentuate that directional error. And so my driver will tend to slice more than any other club. In fact, it may be that my irons are quite okay, but my driver slices and it, it feels like I've got a, a different swing with my driver. It's not. It's just the fact that the, the shaft's longer, less loft, and of course that gives you smaller margins for error and accentuates it. So here's a drill that we can do to start to change the swing path because that's our key thing with improving the, the, the flight of the ball, the directional control. Now I'm going to use a tee, even though I'm still hitting an iron, because the tee is going to allow me to swing the club through and feel like it makes it easier to play the shot with the club moving to the right of the target. When the ball's on the ground and I'm hitting down, it makes it that little bit more challenging to do it. Now, it will take probably a little bit of practice to get the, the shape of the shot that you want. But my feeling when I'm swinging through is that as the club swings through, I'm almost swinging up on it and swinging it out to the right. Now, I know the club uh, needs to be moving to the ball with a descending blow with an iron on the ground, but we're, we're going to work through stages here to give you the feeling. Also, that feeling of maybe hitting slightly up, almost like if you, if you were playing a tennis shot, you'd be hitting it with a top, in, a to, top, spin, a top spin forehand shot. It's almost that type of feeling. So when I play this little shot, I'm going to set up exactly the same way as I normally would. When the club swings through, my club face ideally is going to be pretty square, but the path of the club is going to look like it's moving to the right of the target. So if I, and I'm only going to hit a little shot. The reason for hitting little shots is as soon as I start to add speed and effort, then my movement is going to default to the learned pattern which is the exact pattern I'm trying to make a change to. So with this shot here, again, setting up, just normal setup, little swing, club moves to the right of the target, and then we've got a gentle draw there. Now once I've done that a number of times, then I can start to make the swing a little bit longer, but the first thing is hit a lot of shots to get that base feel. Then once I've got that base feel, and maybe I've, I've hit some longer shots with it, what I then want to do is to encourage that same feeling with the ball on the ground. But now because the ball's on the ground, I want to hit it with a descending blow. So I still want the same feel of path, but I want to have the feel of the um, club striking the ball on the ground at the same time, and then maybe taking a, a, a bit of grass after that. So now that I've practiced that a lot of times, so I've got the feel of the movement, Again, I go back to that little swing. Brushing the ground just after I've struck the ball and still created that uh, shape with the flight. So from this view here, my slice action has now changed quite significantly. Really take your time when you're doing that drill to get the feel of the motion because it's not just what your hands or your arms or your body is doing, it's the combination of all three to actually get the feel of creating that different swing path through impact. When you do, even though you're playing those little shots, they'll actually um, go quite nicely because they're being propelled forward more off the club face rather than just hitting that with that glancing blow of the slice. 
And as you get to your fuller shots, you'll find that you'll probably gain distance when you're making a swing with lesser effort. Let's hope so.